Yeah, so the Auto Trail Tracker 2016 with an umbrella. <laughs> 48,995, four, be four belts. Have a look inside. Got the Auto Trail umbrella. Yeah, I'm just saying they've got an umbrella. <laughs> Come L shaped sofa. Come closer, come nearer, Vera. Sit so we can hear you. And a little occasional table. Now, this obviously is, can't be an original, but you can see that that's connected there. That, that's the sort of thing we need, I'm convinced of so it. So I can't see it, so I'll have to watch the video. Yeah. A good video you can watch later. Yeah, I thought I might have. And big over cab bed here. So this particular one here. Yes, yeah. Six That's a good size bed. This obviously makes up into the travel seat if you move that cushion. This is um, a well proportioned van, isn't it? I think. Mm. Good size sink. Obviously put drainer mats in there, good idea. And you've got, yeah, there's all the specs on it. Electric hot plate, grill and oven. French bed with a smallish cutoff. Nice That's big. That's why it's an auto trail tracker FB then. Yeah. You've got, uh, Fridge with a big freezer compartment. Plenty of space up there for your washing bowl. Tables in there. And a corner unit. Single socket. Jenny's going to be talking to someone out there, so... No, Cavachon. So she's a Cavalier and a Bichon Frise. Yeah, Tara's getting all the attention. Yeah, no, this is all right. Do you want to have a look in it? It's quite nice. Well, Tara's been allowed in to have a little nose around. Yeah. We'll come back and give you a... Uh, Honest you think opinion, then, wouldn't too? you? <laughs> Not get up on chairs, though. Yeah, I don't know. No, you can't t try those out. There's plenty there, isn't there? Yeah. That's you can it. sit up the front or you can sit there, couldn't yeah. you? <laughs> she was worried Jenny had gone. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. All right. We've got a little uh, milio. Milio. Benema Milio. It packs a lot into this because it, is it like that one we once saw at the NEC? It's got six berths, six travel seats. Oh, that's right, yeah. And we're just about, yeah, and two fixed bunks at the back. Yeah. Very similar to that one we looked at. And yeah. it's only six metres, that's oh, it's right. It's 48,000. So, yeah. yeah, it's an amazing. Tiny little. TARDIS thing. TARDIS thing. So you can come in then. Do you want to come in? Let's have a look. So this is a six berth van. So you've got your double dinette here. Huge, enormous over cab. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the beds, I take it. Yeah. Fiat cab. You've got locker space there. That's right, remember this, commenting on this, there's space up here. Not quite sure what you'd do with that space. Could probably do with another locker in there, but I suppose they've got to watch the payload here. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, well, it's, it is 3.5 yeah. ton, but it doesn't say what the payload is. No, not on here. That's all the details there. There's a triplex oven. Bring them in. Yeah. Bring them in. You want to go in, Tara? She said yes. <laughs> Go on, go on, have a look. Come on, have a look around. <laughs> You're going to stay out there then, aren't you? Just be awkward. Come on. All right. 
more lockers up there. And the reason for all these beds, uh, you've got the bunk beds at the back here. Yes. Yeah. So that gives you more space. It's a way of getting more beds in really, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite a stylish van. <laughs> you're a gorgeous cow. Go on, yeah. you're big so shy, eh? Oh, you're so <laughs> <laughs> I've got a massive bed you <laughs> The big Westie. Yeah, yeah, and do you know what? I'm looking at her, she's very tiny and petite. She is, yeah. yeah. She's got a big chest for a small Oh yeah, dog. she's yeah. quite I'm, powerful. I've got my dog on a really strict diet, because every time yeah. the vet looks at me like, yeah. you're fat, so is your dog. <laughs> It's the Westie in him. He's yeah. got a deep set chest. Oh yeah, the, the oh, yeah. powerful front legs Westies. Yeah. Oh, with a what do you think, girls? Plenty yeah. of seats for you here. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Now, yeah. This is all in six metres, isn't it? One thing I, th I thought was you've got a nice big fridge, because sometimes these ones for seats yeah. have a tiny fridge. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it is an enormous fridge. There's a lot to be said for this van. Uh, I know you probably would struggle for luggage space, I think there is a locker outside, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But if you're, if you're not too bothered about bringing all the toys... Just bringing yourselves. Just bringing people. I mean, yeah. 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 <laughs> and that you can do. <laughs> yes, yeah, so obviously if you're not taking loads of people with you, then you can fold this bed up out of the way. And you've got a big garage. Big garage, yeah. So I think true. it probably works better for four. Yeah. And a little window on the back, bike rack. This has got a nice tow bar on the back and arm. That's this nice, is tow bar. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we've got a rear view camera. It's got satellite on it as well. Yeah, Max View. Max View satellite. The drain point down there. WC point there. Water. Yeah, I think we were quite impressed with mm. this, but obviously payload issues. Yeah, I can't remember what that was. Maybe we knew at the NEC. Yeah, but I mean, I was short of van, and obviously you probably get more payload. Mm. Which we could find out for you. So what we've got here is an IH, it's an N class, a 630RL, and this is 82590. So next to it is the... Um, the one that Trevor's got, and I'm struggling for the number now. 680. 680RL. The thing about these IHs is they've got the, the proper habitation door rather than the slam slam crash Which door. The <laughs> side, yeah. Yeah. So let's have a look at the, uh, the 630. We, we did do a video uh, of Trevor's van, so uh, I'll put a link up here. You can have a look at it. Is this a Citroen? Um, yeah, it's on a Citroen. Well, because yeah. Trev's and that one's Trev's on, on a, a crafter. BW, yeah. That's right. Yeah, so dogs are allowed in. They've got plastic on the thing. In you go, Pops. So tell us what you think. Go on, in you go. Go. That's it. Don't get up on the seats, though. That's the only thing. So this is the rear lounge. Okay. Poppy's taken us to the rip. Don't, don't. <laughs> Stay down there. Yeah. Oh, you've got this gorgeous cabin cabinetry in here. Speakers at the back. It does remind me of Trevor's van. Yeah. It's obviously yeah. the same sort of layout at the back here. Yeah. So, very good. So I'm sort of wondering what's shorter, is it? Is it I the think seats? the sofa's a little bit shorter. Right. I think. Well, the van's not as long, is it? I'm gonna, you're going to have a look in there. Maybe the bathroom's a, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Not what I remember. Yeah. Just hold Poppy a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I think the, the washroom's smaller. It is a really yeah, just a, a washroom. Yeah, I think it is. It's a pull-down sink, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pull-down sink. Yeah, no, I think Trevor's washroom is much bigger. Perhaps I don't think the, the lounge is any No, I don't smaller. think you could really, could you? Because almost you couldn't sleep on it very no. well. No. 
Oh, that's nice. These are what they fit in it. Yeah. Look, it's got a double opening fridge here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you want to? Double open it. Double open it. The RT. Yeah, that's good. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. And if you're sitting up here, you can get you can drinks see it from, from the front. Yeah. Another little cupboard around, around here. Yeah, that's got all your um, fuses and everything in it. Yeah. Oh, lovely, these covers. I yeah. push them and they open. Then that one didn't open for me. That's it. You've got to give it a push. <laughs> yeah, that's this thing for your table. Yeah. TV area. Yeah. It's a hanging wardrobe. Yeah, they're all lined as well. Stop anything rattling. A little magazine area, I think, really. There. Sink, oven, and grill as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's guarding the door here. <laughs> Keeping people out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got the area above here, behind you. Oh, sorry. I thought you were right, looking at that area sorry. above. Oh, yeah. Bedding and stuff. Yeah, Trev gets his bedding in there, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a little bit cheaper than the crafter, but it's still a lovely place to be in. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Can't like this colouring as well, this uh, sort of yeah. grey. Yeah, grey and Grey and black, gray and, and, black yeah. and brown sort of colour. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's trouble of bringing dogs in the motor. I just <laughs> keep falling over. <laughs> Tara's off in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, really nice cutlery drawer. Mm. Yeah, it's good pops, isn't it? Yeah, approved, don't we? Yeah. You want to have right. a look outside then? Hold. Go on then. Go on then. Go on, it's a little bit of a jump for you. You have to jump for it. You're going to go for it. Got it. That's yeah. it. Bobby doesn't do steps, does she? That? LPG, yeah, it's refillable. Steel wheels. Of course, the, thing, the big thing with this is the boot. It's the boot, yeah. Yeah. An amazing amount of stuff he gets in that boot. Yeah, Trevor's is absolutely full. <laughs> <laughs> That, yeah. it, they've converted the back doors, so you've just got this sort of a boot area. Yeah. It's a great idea. Mm. But yeah, I mean, the, the main thing about these is that they've put this habitation door in here mm. to replace the sliding doors. Yeah. I'd have a look at some of the awnings. Drive away awnings. Right, I'm here. There's an um, outdoor revolution here. This is a move like T4. And this makes our awning look tiny, doesn't it? Oh no, it's about three times the size. Yeah, it's a T4E. You get it. Mid, low line, midline, high line. We've actually got a midline in case anyone's asking. Because um, we haven't got the tallest van, it's because it's a low profile van. Yeah. And but obviously, if you had one with a over cab, similar like to that, you'd probably want the high line. Are we all right to probably take not. the dogs in? Probably not. Probably not, no. Have a look. That's a pump we're very familiar with. So this is absolutely huge. I think this is a add-on tent at the back. That this is would normally probably, be. Yeah, I think it must be. Anne annex, they call it. It's an annex, yeah. So it just really it turns into a proper tent, doesn't it? More than anything. But you can get these annexes. You can sleep two, three people in there easily. Yeah, because that this bit here we don't normally use, do we? Because they, 
We've got that connected to the van. Yeah, it's 200 pounds, that annex. Yeah. A little price list here. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And a slightly smaller one here. Yeah. Which is a T3. We've got a T2. I think we've got the T2, yeah. Yeah. Have a look around there. Again, you get it in low, mid or high line. Yeah, so this is more like what we've got. Yeah, and obviously that bit there it goes connects to your motorhome. And uh, two places, two um, poles to pump up. <laughs> Because it was a cold. And you can have this canopy on the end of it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Watch this one, she wants to get wrapped around the things. <laughs> so this is That's our, our one. one. Yeah. That's our this one, one yeah. yeah. This has got a canopy on there on the front of it. That's quite nice. So that's 449 that one. Yeah, normally but This is the Highline version. Yeah. I think it just refers to how high your van is when you connect the tunnel. Yeah, yeah we've got the pole across the top there. And we've got, obviously got the uh, window on that side. I think the window on this side, if it's still the same, yeah, you can have the window or the fly screen mesh there. Yeah. So these are pretty much similar to ours. I think I get a bit disappointed at sometimes how that bottom comes up and you could get water in. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. You know, unless you really stick it down. Yeah. This looks okay, doesn't it? Zipped up like this. Doesn't look too bad. No. Yeah, they seem, they seem to have zip, zipped the whole thing up there, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I know. I think so on our one... Uh, one side isn't, is it? No, that's right. Yeah, this zips all the way ar across now. Don't think it did before. No, I don't think it does. Come here. Yeah, well, that's better. Jenny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is struggle with these two. Struggling. Well, give me one of them. I can handle one. Poppy, come on. Yeah, this is quite nice. It's a windbreak. Come on. 195 at the show. God, it's normally three, 347. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet tent. Yeah. <clears throat> utility room. Instant utility, it says. Yeah. Nice to see it out there. Yeah, outdoors. I saw it right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chairs, Jim. Yeah. Isabella chairs. That's not bad, is it? 115 or two for 215. Get on, you. Stop eating mud. That's a Dometic keeler. Yeah. To me, the one like this always looks a bit tougher. Tougher? Yeah, at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. What, you mean where it's pegged down? Yeah. It takes longer, doesn't it? But it's more of a traditional sort of pegging down yeah. thing, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a Dometic Air all season. I think it's all season, obviously, because it's pegged down properly. Yeah. But obviously it's not a drive away then. No. And Poppy was growling there, Poppy? at the, uh, the prince. Yeah, it's that tiger, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the oh, tiger. Tigers. I think she's more growling at the wolves. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. I need that job. Got some Van Goghs here. Van Gogh Airway Galley 2, Galley 3, even. Yep, that's huge. Huge. <laughs> 
absolutely enormous. That's got three, is it three poles? Yeah, it's three blow up poles there. Nice price as well. Low oh, or tall, I mean, wow. if you say we're medium, what, what would be low or tall? Well, low or tall. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably we'd go for the tall. I mean, low would be for camper vans, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would imagine so. So that's it, what, 1100? Yeah, 1150. Whoa. Another huge one here. Look at this, you could have a This is a bit cheaper, this is 475. 475, that's pole. Oh, it's because it's a pole dawning. Tara, she's eating something here. Stop eating things, Tara. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to strangle myself then. A little move light. Again, this is, keep coming back to these, don't we? So we do like our awning. Just don't like it when it's really, really wet. No, no, but they have improved these, if this is the same. There's all zipped up all around the mm. bottom. Rather than, oh, mind no, you, no, mind you, just, that's this might be an older one because that's that's what happens. That's what happens. It? That bit yeah. there comes loose. Yeah. And water gets in. Yep. So this, this is an older one. All sorts of things here, aren't there? That's a windbreak, isn't it? Windbreak. Well, that's only two hundred and twenty-nine. That other one was how much? I don't know. I didn't it notice. It was a lot. <laughs> that do you? Yeah, that's fine. That it'll go up quite quick as well. Yeah, it? yeah. Just one chair in there. Yeah, that's not that's a, a nice big chair, isn't it? Yeah. This is Dan and Mazzy's awning, isn't it? This one. Actually, it's more of a gazebo. Yeah, there's loads of room in, in there. Yeah, tons of room. Just an awkward shape. Oh no, this is a pop-up thing, isn't it? With poles. No, they had ones over there. This is a Something quest. There. Where? Oh, over there. There. Have a look. Van Gogh Air Awning. What's it called? Air Hub. Hexway 2. So obviously you need a carpet in here, but... I mean, it's great, isn't it, if you've got people coming to stay. Oh, and... yeah. You've got a pitch that will accommodate it. Yeah, it is. It is. Because of the shape. Yeah. It's pretty large. That's the tall one tall is 850. 850 yeah. yeah. It's nice in here. Yeah. I'm not quite sure where that arrangement is up there. Mm. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. We'll do, all right. We'll do all one and two tomorrow. Oops. Yeah, I stopped by this yesterday and uh, it's a little Bolero 612, Swift Bolero 612. 6 6 plate. They don't obviously don't do ones this size anymore, do they? No, no. I think it's got a rear lounge, isn't it, if I remember? No, it's a kitchen layout. Oh, is the it? All right. Yeah. And, oh no, you've got a barbecue point. Yeah. Minus the lid, but... <laughs> it's you see what's on. happening to the alloys there. And that's oh, the problem yeah. with these alloys. It's like our UPS alloys. Yeah. If you use alloy wheel cleaner on it, it lifts that uh, cover on it. You're that right. sort of thing. Yeah, so you've got a front lounge layout. On the Fiat. Very familiar sort of front to us. Yeah. And the pockets there. And the Bolero had a 240 volt socket there. And the cupboards were a bit deeper than the Swift Contiki Sport. 
great big, great big wardrobe here. Tables in there. The aerial. Quite a big fridge, automatic energy selection. It's got the TV aerial up there, and the points there, microwave there, little cupboard on the side, and you've got the kitchen at the back. I'm familiar with that sink. There we are. Dometic cooker, which I can't open. There we go, that was quite stiff. Electric hob, burners, grill and oven. Jaws broken. Cupboards underneath. Yeah, it's all good. Have a look in the washroom. Nice square. Well, I'm going to say square. Triangular sink. That's quite good. Locker there. Nice square shower. That's good. Folding doors. And your toilet there. Yeah, it's all well proportioned, I think. Yes, nice little van. Do you want to have a little look? A little, do you want to have a little look in it? No, no, sir. I've looked in them before. Yeah, but it really does remind me of the Starfire. Yeah, it's in, like the wheels, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You've got a little bit of, I don't know what that is there. A bit of accident damage there, isn't it? So, so I never finished doing the repair by the looks of it. But yeah, I mean, it's got all the bits that ours have got, has got on it and more. No, no, that's just that roof that we had. Do you remember with the bars on it? Yeah. That's just, a... No. Oh, right no, that's a drain hole. That's drain what. Hole. Oh, it should have a cap there, shouldn't it? Missing a cap, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Doesn't look right, no. You've got the locker at the bottom there, under seat. It's a 130 brake horsepower engine, it's probably more than enough. There we go. There, somewhere to put your carpets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what we've got here is a Carthago Chic E Line, only 112,995, 8.5 metres in length, and it's a, let me look in, 5,000 kilogram MTPLM. So it's a 2017 van tag axle. It's switching it off. Yeah. Huge, huge garage. You've got shower in there, 12 volt. Uh, 240 volt, all fully lined. Electric point there, toilet there. We'll have a look in there in a minute, Tara. I'm going to have to be a quick look around, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, bloody. Oh, yeah. Very stylish. Cream leather, automatic. As you drop down bed in front, really, really nice looking lockers. Look at the dials up here, how gorgeous! A little locker thing there. There's your travel seat, presumably, you lose the cushions over there. 
Absolutely gorgeous lounge. Our old fridge, well not literally our old fridge, but tiny oven, that sort of tiny oven that they do. Slide out thing here. And there's a travel lock. And you've got a three, bu three burner grill, sink, that obviously doubles up as a thing. Very difficult to do one handed. Drinks. Up there. Lockers that open that way. Great big springs on. So a drink holder there. A double bed with twin mattresses. That is enormous. Really good bed size bed and you get round here. A couple of steps up. get in there, I won't do that, I'll pull it if I don't think. It's got fabric dividers there, concertina dividers, see if I can get in this one, no, that's better, hanging space. There's your toilet area, all fully mirrored. Sink, even got a loo brush. That closes off that area. Oh, looks like a double door. What's happening here? That looks like it should close, but I can't see how. Never mind. Well, that's quite nice actually because you can. In theory, if you could close that, oh yeah, there you go, you lock it, but you can still have a bit of privacy in the loo, apart from that bit there where you can see in. <laughs> and beam me up Scotty shower. Yeah. Looks like some sort of extractor fan there as well. Yeah, so I think they're going to end it here for filming. Uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow and we'll go indoors and film something indoors. So catch up with us later. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you're going to update when we release the next video. So see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye then.